post rehab. We are pretty much done. Completed another rehab. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick walkthrough, show you guys what's good. Uh, supposedly, going to be getting some staging. Uh, cleaning lady coming this afternoon. Staging going on probably within the next week. We, uh, well, probably this weekend. We'll take pictures hopefully on Monday. And uh, have this thing listed like top of the week next week when we get the pictures back. But um, just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on for the past two months. Disregard the grass because I still got to get it cut. But everything else is pretty much... Uh, Pretty much good, yo. Kind of see a lot of this. We'll be able to preserve the door. Look at the color. Look at the color on that boy. Look at the color of that door. Let's go inside. Ah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, this project pretty much took, um, I think six weeks. We added central AC and some uh, nice, light pic nice light fixtures. Flush mount recess lights. Uh, got a whole dining room, kitchen. But yeah, this one took uh, this one took like I say about six weeks or so. Um, the biggest challenge was uh, no, it wasn't really a challenge, but getting central AC in here um, was the biggest thing. And finishing the basement, finish the basement while adding a second bathroom. So we know for sure that uh, our comps say, you know, everybody. Put some hay back here. <clears throat> you see the central AC. Got a deck. But uh yeah, definitely needed to add that second bathroom downstairs, made it a full. It was originally just a toilet, and uh, you know, had to make that a uh a full bath. Got the deck going nice and painted up. Painted the back of the house too, different color. It was like this blue color. Uh, but yeah, we should, like I say, um, we should be getting, uh, cleaners coming in the end of the day. Uh, I'll take you guys downstairs after, uh, cleaners coming in at the end of the day. Um, the staging's probably going to be done this weekend and we will probably be doing, uh, list, uh, getting pictures on Monday, and then doing, uh, listing it probably, like I say, top of the week. Touch up paint, don't worry about that. Final details. Final details. Basic bedrooms. Three bedrooms, two baths. <clears throat> Bathroom. This actually came with the house. Oh shit. But yeah, this tile I got from the auction. Um, <laughs> auction. But yeah, this I got from the auction a couple, like two months ago for about 125 bucks. <laughs> Master bedroom. Right. I like to put nice fixtures in the master. No fans. Nice fixtures. Take you guys to the basement real quick. Nice little door color. Always got to give a pop. Always got to give a pop of color. Again, light fixtures are key. Right. 
finish the basement. Let's cook this up. You guys, go back to the older video. The basement was not finished beforehand. It was just a. It was just a. a it was just open space. All right. So we uh, saved some money. I like to paint the ceilings black if I don't have to put drywall. You know, I got good height, so, you know. So another way to save money. This is the bathroom. Added a shower, right? Same tile, vanity, toilet. <clears throat> that's, that's where the value is gonna be. Again, that's comps for giving us two bath, I mean, two bathrooms. So had to add it, had to add a second bathroom um, for sure to make sure that, you know, everything looked good, but this was just a toilet. So now we got a full bath in our basement, um, <clears throat> and our master bedroom, I mean, our bathroom upstairs doesn't have to be, uh, shared. You can stay down here, put a TV, do whatever you're going to do and, and still, you know, use the bathroom without having to go all the way upstairs. Uh, plenty of storage, right? Plenty of storage, uh, washer dryer hookup, upgraded the panel. I kept this for some odd reason, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the house. Uh, again, very, uh, I'd say this is a, wasn't a quick rehab, but it was, you know, six weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. It's pretty good. Um, new floors. A little bit of everything. So, again, just want to show you guys, uh, you know, this will be hitting the market next week. Granite, stove, all that stuff. This, this will be hitting the market next week. And, um, yeah, be good to go. I don't really have anything else left. Uh, appreciate the comments. Appreciate the... Looks good. Yeah, it does. Appreciate that. You guys know how hard I work. This is a... How should I say it? Uh, this business is very tough, uh, but if you stick it, stick with it, you can make some. This is also I set a goal this year to do three, no, to do four rehabs, one a quarter. Um, <clears throat> I flipped one first quarter, one second quarter, one. This is the third quarter flip, um, and the fourth one for fourth quarter. We are halfway through, and you guys, have, I think you guys have seen that house, so, uh, so yeah, posting updates, pictures, and stuff uh, soon. Other than that, if you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm about to peel out of here. What's going on, Nate, Mr. Thomas, Kata King, Ali, Faith, Mr. Thomas, what's going on, Sammy Joe, what's up, guys, what's up? Uh, Mr. Thomas said, do you have a set design concept or do you change it up depending on the property? Um, yeah, so I don't have a design concept. Well, I kind of do, right? Because, uh, let's go ahead. I kind of do because, you know, when you renovate houses, here's the thing, right? Like you, when you renovate and you are doing things custom and changing all this stuff up, it actually takes more time, right? So uh, the way I renovate houses is the same way I renovate my rentals. I find a color, I stick with that color. That color is the same color paint that I use on all the properties. Um, find the cabinets, same cabinets, don't change it up really, same knobs. Um, tile, like accent tile, I'll change up. Um, yeah, accent tile I'll change up depending on, you know, what's available or what, you know, whatnot or what I was able to get at the auction. Um, but floors, I keep my floors dark. Uh, I like the contrast. I know before I wasn't really into the contrast, but, you know, um, door color, I like, I, that's really random, depends on the day. Uh, that's probably the most exciting thing to do uh, is pick the door color and the color in the front of the house. Um, but my carpet is the same, um, paint's the same, um, 
as far as adding bathrooms and whatnot, um, that really depends on the comps. So if the comps are telling me I can sell here if I add a bathroom, well, I'm adding a bathroom. Um, Central AC is pretty standard. You guys are buying 200 plus thousand dollar houses. I think that's an expectation here in Baltimore is that you have Central AC. Uh, so that's pretty standard. Um, toilets are pretty standard. Uh, get dual flush toilets. Uh, the 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 doorknobs and door hardware. I do use black. Um, I think on this one I use silver, but I do try to use black because it just adds a little bit of uh, flavor. Um, baseboards are pretty standard. Shoe molding standard. Stoves, microwaves, and stuff. That stuff's pretty much standard appliances. I don't get the most expensive because I got budgets, um, but it's all pretty standard stuff. So when it comes to a design, like, look, you can have the same paint for every rehab, you got the same floors for every rehab, and you know, standard flush mount recess lights, that kind of stuff you can just universally put everywhere. Uh, light fixtures like this statement, light fixtures, I like to, depends on, you know, where I'm at, but I do like to do something a little bit different. Most times you'll see people just put like titty lights up, but you know, not in your kitchen and not in your main room. Your bed, my, my master bedroom, I try to use a, uh, a chandelier of some sort instead of a fan or a titty light. Cabinets are standard. Granite's pretty standard based on price. Um, dishwasher standard. This is not even the most expensive thing at Home Depot. I think this was um, 89 bucks. So this stuff, I, it's pretty standard, guys. Like you don't have to, <clears throat> you don't have to have expensive everything, fixtures and all that kind of stuff. Expensive floors, tile everywhere. Like if the numbers work, they work. Um, there are some people that rehab to the highest extent and that may work depending on their market. Um, but here in Baltimore, um, you do what you need to do to make it look nice, right? Not saying uh, that you put cheap stuff in it, but if it looks nice, great. So, like, if my faucet, if they have chrome faucets for $50 and, you know, the next best thing is brushed nickel, I prefer brushed nickel over chrome, and it costs $20, more, I just spend it. Right, so if you're doing a rental, yeah, everything could be the cheapest. Uh, but when you're doing a rehab, think a level up. Um, and if you can find bargain things, uh, if you can find high quality things at bargain prices, like the auction where I go, um, then you know, do it. Right, because I told you, this tile, this tile that I bought was only a hundred, a hundred and twenty bucks or something. And I just saved it. Like, I got another set of this tile inversed where the black is black, the white is white. So I, I got an inverse of this. And I bought that last month. And I just keep it at my house because I know I'm eventually going to put it somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I know I'm going to put it in a bathroom somewhere. Um, you know, this tile, I think I got at Home Depot. But the, the, the accent tile... I I just keep it on hand from the auction. This, I like black fixtures in my bathroom. This is a little bit, it's just like 140, so I don't mind spending that. These are pretty standard, $110, dual flush. You have the regular flush toilets that are like $100. So there's a $10 difference between dual flush and regular flush. Just spend the extra $10. What? This, was here when I bought the house. I decided to keep it. Nothing wrong with it, right? Um, that right there, uh, I think that was about, I think it was like $89 on the cheaper side, but still big enough to give some accent. Check out Lowe's too. You don't always have to go to Home Depot. Lowe's is very good when it comes to just different styles and being a little bit more stylistic with their materials. Um, Again, paint standard. I put it in every property. Carpet standard, 69 cents a square foot. Um, doors are pretty standard. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much 
how it goes. The, the thing with renovating the property is not, it, it is the design, um, but it's also just pushing the project along because you can do, you can get wrapped up in all the details, but if you don't have the ability to push the project forward, all that stuff don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like your rehab can still be sitting. So this one, um, again, uh, not the quickest rehab I've done, but also not the longest by a long shot. So six, seven weeks, I think is a good time for this size house. Um, and yeah, for what we did, I think we had a lot of value. I think when we ran the numbers, um, when we ran the numbers, because I initially planned on selling this at, um, we ran the numbers, I think I was initially planning on selling it at 185. Um, yeah, about 185. Uh, so when I bought it, it was 109. 109 put put 30k into it, um, which I went over budget. So it's probably gonna end up being like 35k. Uh, I put 35 into it and originally was gonna sell at 185. Uh, but when we looked at the comps yesterday, which I hadn't looked at um, since we bought it back in August, um, I think we can get 205. So that's how comps work. Um, that's how the market works. Uh, and I think given that what we've done here, we could probably, we're going to shoot for 205. So that'll be a good, good outcome if we can do that. So uh, other than that, that's the rehab, guys. Um, I'm going to. Of course, we're going to take pictures of this thing in the next uh, couple of days after we get it staged. And, uh, yeah, once we get it staged, it's ready to go. We'll take some pictures, post it up, and uh, show you guys, you know, what it's going to look like fully staged. So, outside of that, oh, oh, y'all, man, y'all been uh, messaging me, and I didn't even, I, I didn't even see. Hold on. We got people popped up in here. Nate, what's going on? William Levant, what's going on? Faith, thumbs up. Brent, was good? Marie, Maria, M Maria Moore, what's up? Uh, Sam, hey, what's up, guys? Your rehab costs include or exclude GC fees. Um, I was a GC, so I wasn't going to take any money out of the rehab. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am the GC, and even if I said so, you know, even if it was any different, my contract and company would be the ones who would be getting paid, so... Yeah, but yes, you should include GC cost in your uh, in your in your stuff. Uh, Mr. Thomas says, "Yeah, we don't. Uh, yeah, we don't have an auction here in uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, but found a surplus warehouse. Thought to just buy and hold until needed." Yeah, like I go to auctions. Like if I see something I need, like here's the thing, right? Um, you know, when it comes to like appliances, like if I have a, a rental property that I buy and the appliances are still there. And, you know, I'm going to keep them, right? And at this point, I literally have, like, three stoves that are just sitting. Like, I bought a stove when I've seen a random stove online for 100 bucks. I bought it just because I know I'm going to need it at some point. Um, maybe not for my rehabs, but for my rentals. So right now I got, right now I have three gas, no, two, two electric stoves and a gas stove just on standby. Um, that kind of stuff, I, you know, it's the same thing with tile. Like if I see, if I go to auction, materials auction, and I see some good accent tile, I might not need it right then in that moment. I might not need it next month, but at some point I know I'm going to need it, right? So get into these material auctions. I'm cheap, so I like to find different ways to, you know, purchase things that are expensive. And materials auctions and secondhand places are great, um, but make sure they're in good condition. Because uh, in rehabs, of course, you want, you know, your product to not look old or dated, right? So, you know, you just can't be getting a new range. You can't be getting a range hood and it's got scratches and dents on it. And you're like, yeah, but it was only 100 bucks. Well, yeah, spend the extra 200, uh, 150 and get a new one. So that's the kind of stuff, right? But outside of that, um, yeah, your budgets, make sure you... Make sure you guys uh, maintain your budgets. I think um, I think I've only done one or two houses where I've actually kept the budget. No, like three. All my other ones I've gone over. That's 
That's just what it is. I'm not a super rehabber, but I mean, you know. Looks good. So, outside of that, you guys got any more questions? Let me know. What's going on, Mark? What's going on, brother? Yes, by the way, this is a fake fireplace. <clears throat> well, it was a real one, but it's not uh, active anymore. Um, it was, but now it's just a nice little placeholder. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. The other thing is, guys, yes, please add Central AC to your to your properties because nobody's going to want to spend a million dollars for whatever you guys are going to sell your houses for and you don't have Central AC. All right. That's just something that is needed. <clears throat> right. Something that is needed when you're spending two hundred to fifty three hundred thousand dollars. All right. So I have another project. We're doing a uh, guys are renovating a kitchen for somebody on the other side of town. So I got to be I got to boogie over there make sure everything's copacetic. Um, but yeah, you guys see what's going on here. Another rehab complete. Um, God's good. Outside of that, peace out. More from me later.